Hello friends, Ashton here. So in today's project, I'm going to introduce you a new tool called Google Form Mailman. So this is basically a mail merge application here designed for Google Form, okay? So let's say you have a Google Form here and uh, you, want to, uh, you want to forward the responses to different people in your organization. Like here, we have a field called two and uh, we have four names here, Abby, Boris, Chris, and Dob. And it depends on the name the user selected, we'd like to send the email to Abby, Boris, Chris, or Dob. So this is the task we're going to complete today, okay? So here, uh, the setup is done. If you can see these settings, uh, we have this tool, we have this mailman tool enabled, and uh, this is the setup. So for Abby, the email is sent to guest test. So this is my test email address here. And this two field is going to be our mailman field, okay? And uh, we can have a subject like this. So this is going to be our subject. And in the subject, we have a placeholder. So we can use uh, these placeholders like two, name, gender, languages, or comments. So these fields, these placeholder fields, they are basically from your form, okay? So they're dynamic. It depends on the, the field in your form to, uh, here, right? So as you can see, all the fields they are available to be used here at, in the subject. And uh, so this is CC field is optional and the BCC is also optional. And this is the body, uh, email body here. You can customize here. And then you also can use these placeholders in the email setup, okay? And uh, so that all the setup, so we can save it since it's already saved, so it should be okay. So if I go to the form and uh, try to submit this to Abby maybe, so I put my name here and the uh, gender for the languages, I can select all of them and no comments. And I submit the form and uh, I think I should get email so if I open my Firefox here, so here, as you can see, uh, this is the email I just uh, received. So it's sent to, it's sent to Abby, okay? And uh, if you compare, let me move this to, okay, so here, this is a template. Uh, this is a, a template a email, okay? So we have the placeholders here. So as you can see, these placeholders are being replaced it, uh, successfully, and this is sent to Abby, okay? And uh, this is to my test email account here. So if you have a CC or BCC here, it should be added for uh, the CC field or BCC, uh, BCC field in the email here. All right, so this is the setup here. And uh, you can basically customize this uh, email. Uh, so basically, it is very flexible and you can use it like this way, okay? So let me show you how to set it up, okay, from your side so you can use it uh, directly. So first I'm sharing this, uh, this project as, uh, so any, anybody who have this link, uh, who has this link should be able to add it. But uh, I think this is only option I have here, so please don't edit anything here because maybe the other people, if they're trying to use it, uh, especially don't edit the code, okay? Uh, because if you have the edit access, uh, I think you should be able to go to the script editor and uh, update the script. Okay, so, if, uh, so don't do that. So I, I'm making this available for you guys so you can make a copy. Okay, so the first of all, you, you can make a copy of the project and uh, I leave it as this. So I have a copy of here and make a copy. So we have a new version of the project, okay? So this is a brand new project. This is a copy. So after you made a copy of the project, you can basically change the form, uh, update all the fields here. So let's say I'd like to maybe I'd like to change this too, maybe to, uh, you can rename it whatever you want. Maybe you can say, hmm, 
I cannot remember them. So I, let's just keep it linked to two. But I change. I'd like to change this to checkbox. Uh, so if we change to checkboxes, so we can select multiple person, right? So if we select multiple person for this response, and uh, for the people in this, uh, they are checked. We're going to send them different emails, okay? And uh, here, you have an add-on icon here. So if we click on it, it's going to open this mail man menu for you. And then uh, you can open these settings. And for the first time, you have to complete this authorization process, okay? And uh, click on your account and continue. So let's say, go to mailman. and uh, allow all of these accesses and then uh, shoot down it and uh, we can we need to open these settings again and then uh, we should see the default setup okay so right now this is a default setup it's going to need a while to load so by default there is no values here okay everything is empty here and the first step you need to do you need to select a field here. So in this form, as you can see, we have multiple fields, like two, but here we only have three. But in the form, we have uh, five fields in the form, right? So basically, not all of them can be used as a mailman field. Only the type is checkboxes, multiple choice, and drop down. They can be used as a mailman field here. So if you want to send emails by gender, or if you want, to, if you have a group of contact for female or male, so you can set up like this. So this is going to uh, give you some flexibilities to configure this application here. Okay, so let's change it to two, because right now we change it to checkboxes, so we can we can select multiple people here, right, and. Uh, this is about the setup here. So let's just add my test email here. So copy all of them. So this is about the field setup. And uh, what if you uh, delete or entered a new uh, person in this group? So let's say we add Emma here for the last one for this field. So after you do some change here, you have a button to refresh it. Okay, so I need to select it because I didn't save it. So as you can see, Emma now is here, right? And uh, you can save the data, uh, but right now this is a required field for subject and uh, body. So I need to do this. And uh, this is a uh, test subject from Maybe this is a test uh, response form. So here, you can use this uh, available placeholders in your subject, like I say from name, okay? So this is subject. So you can use any of these placeholders here in your subject. And CC, BCC, they're optional. So you can use multiple if you have multiple emails, you can separate them by comma, okay? Uh, yeah, this is about CC and BCC. And uh, I can put my email address here to test it. And let's copy this one. And this body is also, uh, so put here, this is the name. So you can use the placeholders just like the subject. And this is a um, test from so the name and uh, you can output all of this data here right for the gender so let's say this is a gender and I put it here this is gender for the languages and uh, comments and let's save it 
So now it's saved. Uh, after that is saved, you can refresh and uh, you should have these settings saved, okay? So no matter, uh, as you can see, all of this data there here. Uh, and uh, right now, it's not working, okay? So right now, it's, you only have these uh, settings, but this is not enabled. So the tool right now is off. So we need to enable this. So right now, mailman has been turned on. So we everything should, should, should be set up and we can try to test it. So to test it, you need to go to your form, okay? So you need to submit a test here. So let's say I'd like to say to Boris and uh, Emma and uh, my name here, female and uh, no comments. Let's send it. Okay, so now I think it's done. I should receive some emails here. So since we selected uh, I think selected Boris and Emma. So for Boris, we got the result for Boris, right? And for Emma, uh, we got the result for Emma. And uh, I think this body can support HTML. Okay, so if I want to have a strong tag here for these comments, let me check if this is working. Uh, maybe I'd like to strong for this one to make it bold, okay? And uh, you can add your signature here. And after you, you do all of this change, make sure you save it, okay? So let's save it. Add a break, line break here, so save. So now it's saved. And by the way, this this uh this emails for the persons you can can be right here. If you click on this field like subject or CC field, they're going to be uh, hidden. Okay, so as you can see, uh, to show it, you need to click these fields. Okay, so it's going to be shown for you again, right? Just I, I, because maybe for some times right now there, there's only five uh, choice here, but maybe for your example you have uh, 50, 50 or even more, 100 or something like that. So it's going to be a very long list, right? So it's better to hide it. Uh, and uh, I think to make sure I, I just did another save here. Okay, so everything is like this. So let's just to verify if this uh, HTML tag is working or not. So let me delete all of them for now. Then uh, let's try to submit another one. So Abby, Emma, Boris, in the mail this time. So that's some language and uh, no comments. Comments and submit. Okay, so it's done. And refresh. Uh, okay, three emails, that's correct. So Emma, so as you can see here, they are both for the response. Uh, that means the HTML tag here is working, okay? So you can use HTML tags here basically you give some colors or if you want to create a hyperlink or something like that you can do it here in this body okay so uh, i think that's almost it for this tool and uh, let me check if anything else i'd like to share so basically this refresh button so every time you uh, add some change here like uh, Early. you add a new name here and you want to bring this to so right now Feli is not here uh, you have two options you can either close this one right and then you, if you open open this again it's going to reload the data and then you should have Feli there 
uh, but fairly the email for fairly is not set up okay it's empty here so you can say fairly test.com and by the way you also can have multiple email address for one single person maybe fairly to at test.com okay so you can have multiple email addresses for one single uh, person here and uh, you also can select another like uh, if I want to send this to hmm, female or male or something like that uh, it should do this similar thing here okay it's working like a group of uh, emails for the female and a group of emails for a male so you can do that so right now Felix is not saved every time if you want to save something here so let's put my email address let's make a copy of this and save it okay this should do it and uh, this is the all the configuration here you can do and this test is just a test it's going to send you a, a test email to yourself okay so I just uh, test email has been sent and if I open my email here it's just to make sure the email is, is working okay so all the placeholders are here and uh, I think this is uh, because of BCCCC field and I also got this email as you can see uh, so that means the CC and BCC is also working CC BCC right okay so I think that's almost it for this project and uh, let me know if this is going to work for you or if you found any issues or problems to use this tool but I'll be okay I move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back in